Welcome to Jalapa, Veracruz. We spent the last couple of days scoping out the best eats, things to do, and where to go dancing in Jalapa. So by the end of this video, you have a good idea whether to put Jalapa in your travel list or not. Jalapa has truly surprised us and even has us contemplating our life choices. Stick with us and we'll tell you why. When it comes to travel in Mexico, Jalapa, Veracruz is normally not on top of people's list of places to visit, but honestly, Veracruz is one of our favorite states in all of Mexico. Even though the port of Veracruz is a more common tourist destination, Jalapa is very much worth your while for its food, history, parks, and culture. Before we continue, we are Jenny and Kevin, and if you also like to eat baila travel, then be sure to hit the subscribe button so we can enjoy these things together all over Mexico and the world. How about we start by showing you our apartment for the month. We're staying in the Felipe Carrillo Puerto neighborhood near Los Lagos del Dique Park. We paid 591 US dollars for the month via Airbnb, but it's currently listed at $36 per night. It looks newly remodeled with a nice kitchen basics and two cozy bedrooms. Link is in the description below in case you'd like to book. Every time that we look up an Airbnb, a place to stay, we try to stay close to a park because parks in Mexico have so much life. There's always activities going on, whether it's yoga, Zumba, or sometimes even mercados. And kids painting and play in the park. This one at Los Lagos has a water park. It has everything. El Parque de Los Lagos is probably one of the most popular parks in Jalapa. And Jalapa has a lot of parks. It's honestly impressive how such a large, bustling capital city can have so many parks and green spaces. So if that's your thing, you'll definitely want to check out Jalapa. Parque Juarez is another unmissable park right in the middle of the city center. A beautiful urban oasis with scenic views of Mexico's highest mountain and active volcano, El Pico de Orizaba. You get a beautiful day here, you can see El Pico de Orizaba and it looks so beautiful, especially right now. It has snow at the very top. Wow, this place is beautiful. Pico de Orizaba is the volcano, which turns out is technically in Puebla, is that right? Uh, don't start, don't start that. Don't start that debate here because us Veracruzanos are very proudful of our Pico de Orizaba. It's ours, now Puebla wants to take it away. We read online that they usually host family events on Sunday afternoons here at Parque Juarez, but today it looks like they moved it to the Palacio Municipal. In this moment, it was a clown show, but other times they have dance and music performances too. I have a question. Every time we say Jalapa, I think Jalapeño, and that can't be a coincidence, right? Do you think one has something to do with the other? I don't know. People here, they call people jalapeños, and normally in Veracruz I've known to call people jarochos. So I'm kind of confused. Maybe we, uh, throughout this video we'll find out if jalapeños are from Jalapa. Jalapa is the capital of the state of Veracruz, but it's also a big college town. There are over 60 institutions of higher education here, and the biggest one being the University of Veracruz. La Universidad Veracruzana is one of Mexico's largest public universities with 18 campuses throughout the state. Jalapa is the home to its main campus. This college town is unlike any other college town we've seen in Mexico. It's so vibrant and full of students. I honestly love the energy that college towns have because it's a city, but it's also full of students, motivated people, cultural events. It just gives off a really cool vibe. And honestly, that's one of the reasons that Jalapa made us contemplate life. For the first time, I think, like ever, I actually felt my age walking around next to all these young students I was like, wow, that's, that's what Generation Z looks like. I've never felt so millennial in my life. AKA, I've never felt so old or my age. <laughs> uh. Oh, a lock tree. Like the lock bridges and the lock gates. What is with cities and lock thingies? What do these mean? Comment down below, wrong answers only. It is hot today. It's not normally this hot in Jalapa. It's about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually, I think it's somewhere on just under 80 degrees in terms of average. So that means it's a great time to stop for a frozen yogurt. We've been coming to this place every day because they have two flavors a day, different flavors every day. Today is strawberry and mame. I said mame, but it's mango. Yesterday was strawberry and mame. Today is strawberry and mango. Mmm. You can get these with toppings, but we like the cone deal because it's two for 30. So good. There are a lot of really good eats here in Jalapa, and this frozen yogurt is one of our favorites. Right, babe? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's good, but. 
Directly across the Froyo spot is in Mercado Dique. It's a gastrocultural market with a variety of foods like sushi, ramen, tacos, crepes, marquesitas, and seafood. The other day we ate at the restaurant Camarón Son and had delicious shrimp and fish tacos. We had the fish tacos al pastor, which were really good. I highly recommend stopping by the Mercado to get for good food and a nice view of the lake. And what's cool is that you can sit anywhere in the market and order from any of the 13 restaurants. This is one of the things that we've been looking forward to the most because Absolutely. we've heard that this is the second best museum in all of Mexico. Nothing wrong with being second best, right? Second best is still very close to first. I mean, you're the first loser, but... <laughs> no. no, 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 no. This is supposed to be an excellent museum showcasing the cultures along the Mexican Gulf, the Huastecas, Totonacas, and the Olmecas. Whoa. This message I felt so profoundly. It reads, This is the root of your history, your cradle, and your altar. You will hear the silent voice of the oldest culture in Mexico, perhaps the mother civilization of our continent. The Olmecs turned rain into crops, the sun into a calendar, stone into sculpture, cotton into cloth, pilgrimages into trade, mounds into thrones, jaguars into religion, and men into gods. Wow, I'm so glad we came. This was a beautiful experience. Everything was in Spanish, but if you don't read Spanish, they do offer audio guides for 60 pesos. This is absolutely, I think, one of my favorite experiences in Jalapa. For sure. If you love coffee, if you appreciate the art of an excellent cappuccino, then you'll definitely want to coffee shop hop in Jalapa. Say that five times fast. Coffee shop hop in Jalapa. 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 <laughs> Jalapa sits right next to the magic town of Coatepec, which is the state's coffee capital. In Mexico, only the states of Chiapas, Oaxaca, and Veracruz are renowned for their coffee. And of those three, coffee from Veracruz is our favorite. Jalapa has a really cool coffee culture with countless cool cafes throughout the city. Some of them double up with coffee and art galleries. Pera Cafe was one of our favorites. The decor is stress reducing, the coffee technique was sublime, the desserts out of this world. Our favorites here were the Eurocano, Guayaba Cheesecake, and La Perita. Bundo is another unmissable in Jalapa, not just for the mazapan latte and desserts, but also for its art, events, and wood oven pizza. Hands down, our favorite pizza in Jalapa. Flor 14 is a relaxing garden cafe with a delicious menu and coffee. Here we have the Café de Horchata, Strawberry Kiwi Tea, Chicken Salad, and the Arrachera Bagel with Malanga Chips. Chefs kiss amazing. Jalapa has countless incredible coffee shops with amazing dessert and menus, but here are two options we recommend to really sink your teeth into Northern Veracruz style cooking. I think we found our new favorite spot. It's called Mariscos El Pecao. We have everything from fish tacos to aguachiles to these french fries with cheese, bacon, and camarones. The tortillas here are made a mano, so we're super excited. We, we also got some tostadas, so we're super hungry, so it's gonna be an excellent meal. I could already feel it. We found this place through Google just through pictures as my dad would say I eat with my eyes and honestly this place is worth coming to Jalapa for just for this place the empanadas de camarón con acuyo salsa de acuyo were out of this world as if this place wasn't already amazing enough food was absolutely delicious they come out with the free shots the cortesia and these adorable little shot glasses oh I got the licor de tamarindo que a mezcal and what's left but cheers Salud. Cheers to you all. I told us also an excellent time to give a shout out to our Patreon members who support our channel. Thank you so much. We invite you to join if you're not already a member at patreon.com slash eat by the travel. Cheers guys. Salud. This is for you. For some home style cooking, we headed over to El Itacate. This is pretty cool. As soon as you walk in, you know, they give you a nice idea what the plates look like just in case you look at the menu and you're like, ¿Qué es esto? <laughs> This restaurant was recommended by my cousin, who was actually a student here at the University of Jalapa. So if this food is good, thank you, Prima. They have an extensive menu with all kinds of regional food, so it's a great place to try the local food. What's cool about this restaurant is that they're big portions and very affordable. Chile Jalapeño is one of the must tries here in Jalapa, because, you know, when in Jalapa, eat a jalapeño. Mm, it's 
sabrosísimo. It's like juicy. There's a lot of meat in it. Mm. Is it spicy? No. Not at all, actually, which is good. Good. Just tasty. And when they ask you if you want salsas, say yes, you want salsa matcha because this one is so, so good. It's one of the emblematic salsas of Veracruz. You must try it. It is spicy, I will warn you, it's made of chile de árbol. Whew, it's spicy. Speaking of salsas, Veracruz does salsa really well, both the kind you eat and the kind you dance. I reached out to the Salsa Jalapa Facebook page and they told us that they have live music going on all weekend at this restaurant called La Popular. It's beautiful, it's along Los Lagos Park, it has a beautiful view of the lake, a garden section. And tonight, they're gonna have two live salsa bands for a cover of 80 pesos. So earlier we mentioned how Jalapa Veracruz made us contemplate our lives and... If you've been with us for any amount of time then you know that we love seafood, we love salsa, both the kind you eat and the kind you dance, coffee... We love beaches, you know, more so than anything. El ambiente is what brings us to certain places and what we like the most and... Siempre donde haya ambiente bueno de salsa y marisco, siento que es... It's like a place for us. A place for us, And yeah. And when we started this journey, we did not really think twice to look at Jalapa, but now we're thinking, why didn't we consider Jalapa as a home base sooner? Not that it's too late or anything, but I just feel like it deserves... It's so deserving of more of our attention, not just as like a potential home, but people overall should be looking at Jalapa to visit because it's really honestly very cool. And I think like throughout our journey, we've learned that no place is perfect, right? And it's, it always gets harder. The more you travel, the more you get to explore places because the more you get to see places, the more you fall in love with places. Um, and yeah, Jalapa has just been amazing. The weather's awesome. And I don't know, I don't know. I like, maybe in some future, I see myself living here for sure. I think if we were to get jobs that would require us to live in Jalapa, I could totally see that happening. But like Kevin said, no place is perfect. And based on our week being here, which is not enough time to really know if you want to live a place, but based on our week being here, we noticed that there's a lot of traffic, mosquitoes, I guess, I don't know, what are the other, any downsides you can think of? Well, I can't. <laughs> no, we'd have to be here a little longer to see what kind of downsides there are to being around here other than being around so many college students making us feel old. <laughs> I mean, whatever, man. It's just life. You got to enjoy it every stage of life. Yeah. And with that, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you're excited as much as we are to be back on YouTube. You know, we have a lot of content coming up, so make sure you keep following us. Se cuiden, se bañan, y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Ciao. Ciao. ¿Qué es un jalapeño? ¿Qué es un jalapeño? ¿Un chile? ¿Un chile? Bueno, un jalapeño es originario de la ciudad de Jalapa y por eso se le dicen jalapeños.